This is the inner pet as a push chair. Um, it's got a brake and the brake's okay. It's not great, it's not rubbish, it's sort of like in between. So this one's a three wheeler, it's got pop-off wheels and you can actually change it to be used as a, a cycle carrier for the dog uh, or cycle trailer for the dog. So let's have a look at it a little bit more closely. So I popped in this vet bed. It's got a lead here so you can attach that to your dog so it doesn't jump out. I'm just going to hide this one in here and it's got another one here so if you've got two dogs or more dogs you can these roll down and zip up like that again you can keep them all nice and safe it folds down into to nothing and all the covers come off so you can wash them. There's zips everywhere so you can take the cover off the base and take the hard bit out so you can wa literally wash everything. Which is quite innovative. So there's zips all the way around inside and when we go underneath I'll show you how it's secured. So this handle's a little bit wobbly when it's in the pushchair position, um, which is a little bit annoying, but apart from that, it's okay. You can change. That's a position you would have in um, as a cycle carrier, so that's why I've got the lights on. And you must always have these in, otherwise it just falls about. So let's keep it as a push chair for now. It is very user friendly, I must say. So we'll take the wheels off. They just pop off. And we, well, I'll tell you what, let's just fold it down. Just fold it down, just like a pram hood. And it just folds down like that. Pop those out, pop them back in again, that's it, and then you have got this thing here and it just clips on there and you pull it taut and now that won't move. Tip it up to take the wheels off. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's a little button you press in there and the wheel pops off. Same here, there's one there, you press that in and the wheel pops off. And the other side, same thing, we'll take the brake off. And that's as, that's as much as it will fall down. So you could put that in the boot of the car. It is quite wide. I will put the dimensions on the information along with the links to everything in the information on this video at the, you know, so just look below. Um, I will put the dimensions because it is quite wide. It'll go through my side gate, but it won't go through the back door or the front door. So I tend to keep it in the garage. Um, let's just go back to the all these this is velcroed on so with the zips and this velcro you just take everything off sling it in the wash and uh, there you go off you go we'll put the wheels back on gotta wait until you hear it click there you go we'll pop this one up Again, wait to hear it click. And 
Why are you not clicking? There it is. There it is. There we go. You have to push this. You have to push this bit quite hard, actually. There we go. And just open it up like a pram hood. Pop those down. Change the handles. And it's back to full size push chair. Go on, in you go. I keep the rain hood in here. The first time I, I saw this was a lady had one in the town of Wick, which is at the top of Scotland, for her Labrador. And she had hers completely open. Need to do that a bit better. At the front and the back and the top. Bit of drill for my dog there. Now when I put my dog in here, if I have it completely open like this, he goes in one way and then straight out the other. So I always keep one side down. But we can put the rain cover on. It doesn't matter whether they're rolled up for the rain cover. And it just falls out. I think we've got a steam engine, a steam train going past. So that's the noise you can hear. And then there's little bit of bits of velcro to keep it neat and tidy. It does come with this rain cover, so if you buy the buggy, you get the rain cover. It doesn't come well in the UK. Mine didn't come with the cycle attachment there's this bit here just hooks under here like that and you hook it round and then that's that's your rain cover on when my dog's in it and it's raining it does get a bit of condensation because he's a bit like a boiler he just emits heat and yes you do raisin <laughs> he likes to chase red chain trains for some reason yes no you lie down lie down good boy good boy <laughs> yeah so that's the rain cover the only annoying thing when the rain covers on is at these sides here sometimes if it's not very straight you can just it just rubs against the wheel but other than that it's fine um, I wouldn't use it the rain cover when the uh, when it's a cycle carrier I don't know would I maybe if it was if it was really heavy I probably would um, but it's really meant as you know as a for push chair because there's only one little bit holding it well and a couple of bits of velcro so it's not really suitable gale gale force winds but the odd shower is perfectly appropriate and to fold it up you just pull it off Um, 
and there's a knack to folding things like these sort of things up. Somehow I've got to get that in there like that, that in there like that. idea you can get it the easier it'll be to get in the little pocket it's quite strong plastic so That's the cycle carrier put away. Okay, let's turn it into a cycle buggy. So we just take the front wheel off. I'll just tip it on its back, it's easier. Pop it off. And just pop this over here. And this is your cycle attachment, so this side goes in here and then that attaches to the bicycle and you, this, you can have it like that or like that so it depends on your bicycle, You've got derailleur gears, you might want it on this side um, it really depends on your bicycle and where you put the bracket so we just slide that in there like that, take this pin out, you've got three holes, doesn't really, you're only fixing one, but you do want the whole thing through both of these things, because it's that's what's going to make it stable. So I'm going to put mine in that middle one there, like that. that. And then that goes over the can. Now that's not going to move. I'm going to bring my bike in. So this is the bracket for the bicycle. And on some bicycles, it may be like that. On mine, it's like that because of the mud guard. So it really depends on, again, on your bicycle. But this bends, it's got a spring here. So it doesn't matter when it's like that. The only difficulty you may have is when you're fixing it. I tend to lean my bike over and then push it in. And then we pop that through there and then that hooks over there and that's not good can you see how that's bent now there we go and then we pop the dog in raisin your turn come on Up. come on now this side Come on, in you get, in you get. That's it. Lie down. So that's 
seven. When we're cycling, I have it like that, Mason. And then he can poke his head out the top, which he quite likes to do, because he likes to see where you're going, don't you, Mason? Yes, yes. It's your chance to do your impressions now. Okay, can you do me a Pluto? Okay, what about a Nasha? Good -goo. I think that's a Fred Bassett. Okay, <laughs> right, you can come out now, Raisin. Thank you very much. Come on then. Whichever way you want, come on. There we go. And that's the inner pet. Raisin's about 32 kilos, so you, you do know that you've got something, you're pulling something quite heavy. Raisin, come here, come and introduce yourself. There we go. Yes, you're quite old, aren't you? You've got a big fat lump there, haven't you? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so you do know that uh, you're pulling something quite heavy, but other than that, he's quite happy in it. He was a little bit anxious at first because he's never, never really been in this sort of in a buggy. I used to put, a, we used to have a smaller dog and I used to put him in the bicycle basket on the front and uh, he would have been fine, wouldn't have bothered him at all. But to uh, raise him with him being a bigger dog, I used to make run alongside. But uh, yeah, wood, it's actually very well made. I'm impressed with it, I really am. You know, it's not perfect. You know, the handle's a little bit wobbly. Um, but do you know what? It, it's really good. I will get some use out of it. And even after, you know, once he's gone, maybe I don't get a, another dog for a while. I don't know, probably will, but maybe I wouldn't. You could either sell it, probably hold its price quite well. Um, or you could use it as a trailer. If you go to the garden centre, you could get trees in there. So it's entirely up to you what you you use it for. It's just think of it, you know, you could put the shopping in there. So it, it could have lots more uses. Um, it is expensive. It wasn't cheap. It was, I think, 450 somewhere around there. And then the bicycle chat attachment was, I don't know, 30, 40 quid, something like that. Um, so it wasn't cheap. You can get cheaper ones, but it is extremely well made. You, and I love the quick release wheels. I've had quick release wheels on bicycle buggies for children before, and they're nowhere as near as easy as these ones. You know, whoever's designed this has put a lot of thought in. One, you can wash the covers. Two, they've got really easy, quick, quick release wheels. It can either be a push chair or it can be a cycle carrier. It, it's really well thought out. I, I'm impressed. Uh, and, and it's easy to use. It's very user friendly. Um, but it is expensive. You know, I think it's that you pay for what you, you get, really. Um, so there you go, that's the inner pet. Um, and if this has been useful to you, then great, whoopie-doo.